Eric, it's a true pleasure for you to be with us today on Moxie Talk with Kirk Jacobs. Thanks for joining us all the way from another time zone. Welcome, my friend. Right. Right. Good to be here from Las Vegas. Wish we could be in person, we could. but uh, this is yes. the way the world is now. It is. <laughs> so here we are. It is. So, you know, I've read your bio. It's pretty extraordinary. You you came from a pretty, um, in my opinion, you know, cloistered background, somewhat sheltered. You're now doing some very, uh, in, in my opinion, I wouldn't say evocative, but but necessary work that needs to be done in the podcast space. You know, you've got two podcasts now as of this taping. Uh, you've got Preacher Boys and then you've got Film Schooled, and we'll let you talk about those. But what drives you to excel in these areas? And, you know, you bypass college from what I understand. So it's pretty unique, in my opinion, not to mention your history with Guestio.com, which is how we met. Right. Uh, yeah. What I mean, really, what's driven me from a really early age has been, I mean, storytelling. Like mm -hmm. I, from the time I was six or seven years old. I mean, my, uh, my best friend's dad had a VHS camera that he passed on to us. And so we would just make little movies in the backyard or in the bedroom and like just hanging out as kids, we played by making movies, you know, at least what we thought were movies. And, you know, throughout my entire life, the one consistent thing, whether it's podcasting, whether it's making videos, whether it's graphic design, it's always been telling stories in one form or another. And the meaning that those stories have has evolved over time. It mm -hmm. went from, you know, reenacting scenes from favorite movies to now doing advocacy work through the podcast. But storytelling has been the one consistent. Like I knew from the time I was a, a little kid, that's what I want to be when I grow up. I want to, I want to tell stories. I thought at that time it was movie director, sure. uh, but <laughs> I've come to realize it's just storyteller. I want to be able to tell stories that, that matter. And don't you love living in this age where we can, we've got all this technology and it's, yeah, you know, it doesn't cost millions of dollars and huge studios and, you know, a staff of 50 just to do what we're doing. I, I, that's what I love about it. It's, it's insane. And it's, it's crazy to think about the fact, you know, I talk about with podcasting all the time, the fact that I have a, what is essentially a syndicated radio show mm -hmm. that I produce from this room in my house that can be heard by you know, potentially millions of people yeah. without having to, you know, fight with a hundred thousand other people to get one radio spot. You know, it's I, amazing the accessibility that's there. And I don't think we, we take it for granted, you know, a lot of sure. times how, how accessible. Sure. And, and for a guy like me who came from, you know, and truth be told, this is our first real true virtual uh, moxie talk um, podcast or however you want to couch it. Uh, in the history of the evolution of the brand and the show. And so you're our first, I don't want to say guinea pig, let's get through it, but uh, you've been willing and uh, I met you through Guestio to do this. And uh, it's very interesting to watch the evolution from uh, the studio world to virtual. And, right. you know, we're taping this kind of on the back nine, the back end of uh, COVID-19. And I try to keep these discussions timeless so people can watch them years from now. Uh, but to give some perspective, that really was a tectonic shift, I think, in yeah. media production, much so and much more so in a good way than a bad way, but very different. So it's taken right. me a while to uh, come up to speed. But enough for me. Mm -hmm.